All right, here's the deal. And do you know what? I was gonna do some elaborate introduction about what you're about to see, but I don't think it's necessary. Check this out. All right, what's up everybody? So I'm doing something that I've never done before. I'm gonna go play the beautiful game in prison. I'm gonna go play with the San Francisco Glens, up the Glens against some inmates at San Quentin. How wild is that? That's pretty wild. He's back, let's go. join a team, you're part of a community, you're part of something bigger than yourself. And I think that might be the hardest thing when these guys get out is that isolation of feeling like they're part of anything. So I'd like to think that we can be an extension of that. So if they do get out, they'll all have an instant family with the guns. Yeah. And, and have a place where they feel supported. I think that would be amazing. A lot of guys want to get implicated in Bay Area soccer and be connected to the community. And it's a great way to do it. What's going on in your mind right now heading in there? I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Don't really know exactly what to expect, oh, no. but uh, it should be fun. Pretty excited. Uh, we got a clear Sorry, you in there, play some soccer. I'm just ready to win. That's about it. <laughs> no, but seriously, I'm I'm excited so to go in there and yeah, we'll just, you know, to see how people have passion for the game is, is great, you know, despite the circumstances. And uh, I'm looking forward just to actually have conversations with uh, the inmates and try to normalize their situation as much as possible. You guys all have the players. Wow, this is a uh, surreal experience. Take it all in, Jimmy. I'm trying. I'm trying to absorb all of this because um, these guys have lived some lives. And, yep. And to see them change and be a part of that change and be a reason, and yeah. it's just, it's just awesome. Yeah. It is pretty awesome. Welcome. What's up? How are you? Welcome. 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 Hi. How's it going? Hi. What's up? Hi. Who is Jimmy? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What's up? So, Alright fellas. Javi, what are you playing? We should play next to each other. We should build that rapport, that relationship together. We should. That's it. That's it. How's this feel? It's pretty surreal. Uh, I'm excited though. I'm definitely very excited. Pre-game jitters out of the way. Oh, I'm trying to score early, you know, set the tone early. Second half, we're gonna have our talk. We're gonna gather, settle these guys down. And we're gonna push forward. I got here 13 years ago. When I got here, there was nothing about soccer. Soccer was on the bottom of the totem pole. I mean, we had nothing. For it. Here we are today, as you see. And we just, we just so thankful. You know, we have guys that work in the media room to come over here and interview us and take pictures for us. But I'm telling you, it's just, it's been a blessing. It really has just been a blessing for soccer here at San Quentin. People have their, their concepts about prison. And I tell everybody out there, once you just come in and find out, you know, get an ex hands-on experience for yourself. Meet the quality of guys that are in here, in San Quentin. By saying this, I just hope to say that it's a possibility that the people will see us in a different light. We have multiple programs here, you know, that they kind of readjust, you know, they readjust to who we were, to who we are today. You know, we are thankful for that.
to get on the field and be together and, and to, uh, well, to let us win. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we appreciate you guys letting us win. That was very nice of you. Uh, and we'll give you guys another chance to move forward. I'm going to go to that one. This is a big thrill for us to come in here and to be able to interact with you guys. And hopefully uh, we can build something more than just one game. Thank you. Hey man, when you guys come in here and play, guys, we're gonna talk to our families, man. We're gonna talk about this moment with you guys. You guys created a moment with us. I want to thank you guys for doing that with us. We try not to be only our crime. We try, we try to develop something else. And, you know, I've been in prison since I was 40 years old. I'm 42 now. You know what I mean? And I'm looking at leaving and stuff. And when you guys come in, you guys interact with me. It makes me actually see that I might have value out there, or that I can interact with somebody other than criminals. So I really thank you guys, man, from the bottom of my heart. You know, just thank you guys. This means a lot. If you guys never come back, no, you changed my life today. Thank you. How much you thought? Yeah, I mean, it was definitely a distinct experience. I don't think I've had many days like today. And you know, it serves as a reminder that no matter what circumstances life throws at you, I guess, uh, there can always be things that unite people. And soccer is one of those things, and it's one of the best ways to do it. So it was a fun day, all in all. <laughs> that was fun. I look forward to coming back. It's an incredible program that they have. Allow these guys to just forget about some of their troubles for a little bit. When they do get back out into the outside, they can feel like they're part of a community. And I hope that we can extend an invitation to them in some ways that when they come out and want to come see a game, they're always welcome with the lens. Which means it's now time to give a very special shout out to Andrew Crawford of Second Chance Sports for providing the Glens with this opportunity to give back to the community in a meaningful way, which is very important to us as a club. So thank you again, Andrew, and to everybody else that works at your fine and wonderful organization. And thank you for watching. And apparently we're gonna see you next time because apparently these guys want a rematch because apparently they want to lose again. Also, up the Glens.